Hi everyone, my name is Iman and this is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. If you're looking for an AI art generator that's not only free but also offers a variety of styles, from realistic and cartoonish to anime and line art, you're in the right place. This tutorial is exactly what you need. Every image you're seeing was generated using Paclumen. In this step-by-step -step detailed tutorial, I'll guide you through Paclumen AI. With its text image capability, this AI can turn your written ideas into breathtaking visuals. Paclumen AI also features the expand option, which allows you to extend beyond the boundaries of your image. You can enlarge your background while maintaining its original texture and quality, adding realistic details that match your image's style. With its Remove BG feature, you can even remove image backgrounds, giving you a clean PNG file to work with. But if you think that's all you need to know, you're in for a surprise. You've probably heard about the new Flux model that's been creating a buzz among top artists worldwide. Here's the exciting part. Paclumen's art generator even offers the Flux model. You can access the Flux Neo version completely free through Paclumen and turn your ideas into stunning artwork. We visit the Paclumen AI Art Generator website. To get started and create an account, click on the Launch App button in the top right corner of the website. On the Sign In page, you can either create an account using a personal email or log in with a Google account. Once you're logged in, you'll be directed to the Explore page. This page is essentially a gallery of images generated by the Paclumen Art Generator. In the top left corner, you can see the image categories and select any that you're interested in. By clicking on any image, a new page opens where you can view and browse the images in a larger size. On this page, you can also see the prompt used to generate the image. Information such as the negative prompt, image dimensions, and the model used for generating the image is also displayed. The Paclumen AI Art Generator website is available in several official languages, and from the bottom left menu, you can change the website's language to Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, French and several others. By clicking on the three-dot icon next to your username, a drop-down menu appears. Here, click on the Usage Dashboard option. It explains that the speed of image generation is related to a feature called Fast Hours. Basically, daily fast hours give you 0.5 hours per day, which resets every day at GMT. Fast Hours prioritize your tasks for quicker execution. If fast hours run out, your task will require more time in the queue. Whether or not you run out of fast hours, there is no limit on the number of images you can generate. To generate an image from text on Paclumen AI Art Generator, click on the Create option from the left menu. On this page, you'll see a history of the images you've previously created. At the top of the Create page, there's a text box for entering your prompt. The prompt is essentially your ideas typed in text form. The more detailed your idea, the better the AI will understand and convert it into an image. I already have a prompt written, so I'll right-click and paste it into the text box. Above the prompt box, there's a drop-down list offering four models for generating images. In the first example, I select Paclumen Realistic V2. Next to it, there's a drop-down list to set the aspect ratio. You can choose whether your image is square, vertically or horizontally rectangular. This helps align the dimensions with social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, or video platforms like YouTube. I choose the 16 to 9 aspect ratio. In the next section, you can select how many images you want to generate at once, ranging from 1 to 4. In the top right corner of the prompt box, there's an icon labeled Auto Translate, which means you can even write your prompt in your native language. And this option will translate it into English. Next to the Auto Translate icon, there's another icon called Prompt Enhance, which is for improving the image quality by expanding your prompt words. Quality is improved at the expense of accuracy. I click on the settings icon. In the negative prompt section, you can specify what you don't want in the generated image. The CFG scale option controls how strongly your prompt influences the generated image. The steps option determines the number of steps used to create the image. More steps can lead to more detailed images. The seed option allows you to set a specific starting point for the random number generator to create reproducible results. After adjusting the settings, I click the generate button. My request enters the queue, and after a short while, the images are ready. To view the images in a larger size, I click on the thumbnail of one of the images. 
From the right hand section, by clicking on the image thumbnails, I can access and browse all of them. Based on the images you see, Paclumen's text to image feature with the realistic V2 model performs astonishingly well, creating incredible images in a very short amount of time. By clicking on the download option, you can save the images to your device for free. To delete any image, hover over the images, and by clicking on the three dot icon, a drop down menu appears where you'll find the delete option. Now, I want to test Paclumen AI's ability to generate images of famous people. I enter the prompt into the text box. For this, I ask the AI to generate an image of Angelina Jolie with a smiling shadow. Using the same settings as before, I click the generate button. My request enters the queue, and after a short while, the image of Angelina Jolie is ready. As you can see, Paclumen AI did a great job, both the likeness to Angelina Jolie is quite accurate, and based on my prompt, the AI added a smile to her face. Let's now try an example with a famous male figure. I enter the prompt into the text box. This time, I ask Paclumen AI to generate an image of Leonardo DiCaprio with a smile on his face, looking happy and cheerful. Using the same settings as before, I click generate. My request enters the queue, and after a short while, the image of Leonardo DiCaprio is ready. As you can see, Paclumen AI performed well here too. Not only does Leonardo DiCaprio's image closely resemble him, but the AI also generated a smiling version of him based on my prompt. One of Paclumen AI's features is the ability to remove the background from images. Let me show you how it works with an example. Hover over the image you want to remove the background from, then click the three dot icon. A drop down menu appears. Click on the remove BG option. This places your request in the queue, and after a short time, the background is removed, and the thumbnail of the image is displayed. Now I click on the thumbnail to view the image with the background removed in a larger size. As you can see, without the need for Photoshop and in the quickest time possible, the AI successfully removed the background from Leonardo DiCaprio's image. To download it in PNG format, click on the download icon located on the right side of each image. To delete this image from the gallery of images I created with Paclumen, hover over the thumbnail of this image, then click on the three dot icon. A drop down menu appears, where I click delete and confirm the deletion. Let's challenge Paclumen's art generator by creating images in a cyberpunk style. I've already written a prompt, which I'll paste into the text box. Using the same settings as before, I click generate. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short wait, the cyberpunk styled sports car images are ready. Let's review the images. As you can see, the Paclumen AI did a great job with this case too. The cars are truly sporty, and the cyberpunk style matches exactly with the prompt I provided. One of Paclumen's art generator features is the ability to expand images with AI, allowing you to enlarge an image and have the AI automatically complete the extended portions. Let me show you how this works in practice. Hover over the image you want to expand, then click the three dots icon. A drop-down menu appears, and from this menu, click on Expand. The Expand page will open, where handles around the image allow you to drag and specify which direction you want the image to be expanded. Below the image, there are also presets with values like 1.5x and 2x to expand the image automatically without dragging the handles. I select the 2x option for AI expansion, and then click Submit. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short wait, the expanded image is ready. By clicking on the thumbnail, I can view the enlarged version. As you can see, the style and quality of the AI expanded image align perfectly with the original. The added details in the larger version are seamless, making it appear as if the image was always created at this larger size. Paclumen's art generator offers a variety of models, including the Lineart V1 model, and now we want to compare it to the realistic V2 model to see the differences. We will use the same prompt and settings for generating the cyberpunk sports car image with the realistic V2 model, but this time, we'll test it with the Lineart V1 model. To do this, I hover over one of the car images, click the three dots icon, and select Remix. The Remix option populates the same prompt and settings used in the previous generation with the realistic V2 model. The only thing left to do is choose Lineart V1 from the model dropdown. I click Generate. My request is placed in the queue, 
and after a short wait, the Cyberpunk sports car images, this time using the Lineart V1 model, are ready. Let's review the images. This style is quite different, it only displays the primary lines of the image, without color. As you can see, Piklman's AI has done a great job with this case too, producing images that resemble pencil sketches on white paper. Now it's time for the main surprise of this tutorial. As I mentioned at the beginning, Flux is one of the latest and most impressive image generation models recently released by the Black Forest Labs team. With extraordinary capabilities in creating visuals, Flux comes in several versions, such as Pro, Dev, and Schnell, and you can access the Flux Schnell model for free via Paclemon's Art Generator. Let's generate an image using the Flux Schnell model. I've already written a prompt, which I'll paste into the text box. From the drop-down, I select the Flux Schnell model, using the same previous settings. 16 to 9 aspect ratio and 4 images in the output, I click generate. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short wait, the text to image process is complete using the Flux Schnell model, and the thumbnails are displayed. Let's review the images. The Flux Schnell version is designed for developers, and as you can see, it has generated stunningly beautiful images. Now I'll teach you how to create images in a 3D animation or 3D cartoon style, also known as Pixar style, using the Flux model. I've already prepared a prompt, which I'll paste into the text box. As you can see from the prompt, to generate images in Pixar style, you should include keywords like 3D cartoon or 3D animation in the text. This informs the AI about your desired style. I use the same settings, Flux Schnell model, 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and 4 images in the output, and click generate. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short wait, the text to image process is completed, and the thumbnails are displayed. The images are in 3D style, and as I review them, I'm extremely pleased with the cartoon style images and will download them. There are many more things you can do with this AI, and you can look forward to more tutorials in the future. So, did you learn something new from this tutorial? If you did, what are you waiting for? Hit that like button and share this video with your friends. This is just a tiny drop in the vast ocean of tutorials I'll be uploading to this channel. If you're eager to learn more, you've come to the right place. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Remember, AI is the future. Embrace it today. See you in the next tutorial.